up up here. To do what? Just what are you to, talking about? No, I mean, I just, I guess, is there any point of interest that, that you um, I don't believe so. Okay, so are we going to try to make New York?
so much less traffic than the rest of the area.
so they found it difficult to be able to find buyers for the assets. The Greek program has been about trying to sell for the highest bid as far as possible. And we've seen, say, with the sale of the natural gas supplier, which was going to be sold to Gazprom, the European Union authorities were not happy about this. And also, we've had this pattern of there being very high bids for what seem to be quite distressed assets. Why would there be such high bids? Part of the reason is because it seems to be a pattern that a lot of the, the companies that are bidding for these assets put in quite high bids and then demand all sorts of concessions afterwards. But also, it's incredibly unpopular, isn't it? I mean, you've got to come very far to see quite how unpopular it is. Well, what happened with the Greek National Bank Post, for instance, when that was faced with it? Is there really, do you think, a lack of political will? I don't think there is, actually. I think it would be easy to say that. If you look at the, the overall Greek program, which the Troika has put it through, it's actually been a pretty good player. I mean, it's been a bit slow on various things, particularly on the structural reform side. But vested interests are huge in this area. I mean, reforming a labour market, for example, takes an awful lot of fiscal will and capital in order to make it work. But if you look at the fiscal consolidation that they've done, the spending cuts and tax rises, it's been enormous. The budget deficit in 2008-9 was 15% of GDP and then moving towards a primary balance that basically not including all of the debt interest that they have to pay. The, the government looks at almost imbalance, which is an extraordinary effort. And in terms of the structural reforms too, the OECD, the sort of the rich world think tank, did a study of who's been doing